But you can't do that without the power of the Holy Spirit. So, so an example, uh, sometimes on Sunday mornings when I'm sitting there and the worship's going and I'm praying, one of the things I'm praying for as a preacher is God, give me a prophetic gift. Give me the ability to take what you've shared in the word and retell it in a way that is helpful and that'll build up the body, that'll convict where it needs to be conviction, encourage where it needs to be uh, encouraged. Um, give me that role. And that's the same thing you ought to pray. You're not a preacher, but you are a preacher. It's one of the things that God has uniquely given you to do by the Holy Spirit is to take what God has put in you through the word and to share it with other people. And one of the questions you might wanna ask yourself is am I putting enough of the word in me so that God can let the word come out of me? Am I spending time in the scripture? Do I, am I meditating on verses? Do I have verses memorized? Do I, am, am I engaging with the word of God so that I can be used by God through the Holy Spirit to encourage others with the word? My um, essential definition of discipleship is when the spirit of God uses the word of God to encourage um, people for God's purposes. Uh, so when the Spirit of God uses the Word of God through the people of God to uh, advance God's purposes, that's, that's the Great Commission, that's discipleship taking place. But for that to happen, uh, you've gotta be empowered by the Holy Spirit and willing to let Him use you to share the Word. Uh, and, and that includes sharing your faith. Uh, I've heard a ton of reasons why people don't share their faith. Um, and I just really don't know that in light of this text, if any of them are good enough. You think, well, I don't have what it takes. Well, you do have what it takes. It's not about your ability. It's about the Holy Spirit in you. You say, well, I don't have the time. How can I add on evangelistic activity with everything else that I'm doing? That's, you don't have to add on. Just live your life with gospel intentionality. You're with people all day long. Instead of making your life about your stuff, make your life about people and share the word. Uh, you say, it makes me feel weird to talk with people about Jesus. Well, Maybe you shouldn't be so weird about it. Maybe just make it a little more natural. And, and even if it is weird, isn't it worth their eternal destination for an awkward conversation every now and then? You've been empowered by the Spirit to be a witness. Are you sharing? Are you speaking the word? Have you found your place in God's mission? Devotion to the mission of Jesus and fullness with the Spirit of God always go hand in hand if you're gonna walk with the Spirit, you gotta be going where he's going. If you look where Jesus was going, he was always going to the unreached, to the marginalized, to the least of these. And a marker that we're filled with that same Spirit is that we're doing the same thing.